Paper is one of our spotlight exhibitions, which are small thematic exhibits of um, materials drawn from the Newberry Collection. And this one is time to coincide with Valentine's Day, but we wanted to make it broader than just Valentine's. And we decided to call it Love on Paper. <laughs> So we decided to approach the exhibition from a crowdsourcing um, type of, um, of curating, uh, whereby we asked staff members uh, to recommend items that maybe they had encountered um, in their own work, you know, from people that work in collections and cataloging, library assistants that see a variety of objects on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and the idea was really to sort of break down the authority of one curator and let you know a variety of people throughout the institution sort of lend their hand and their voice um, and be able to influence exhibitions. It's interesting how Valentine's and also other expressions of love is uh, they're often about the conveyance of that love as well as just being about the sentiment of the love itself. So there are tons of Valentines that feature trains and bicycles and wagons and horses and cars all delivering Valentines. And then there's another genre that's just about the delivery of Valentines through the mail. It goes along with the, the theme of modern technology. There are also um, Valentines that are about transmitting expressions of love on the radio or through the telegraph. So these sort of mechanisms of communication became um, kind of a big sub-theme in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. There's also this tradition of sending what are known as insult cards, a vinegar valentine. We have a lot of these vinegar valentines which were first popularized in the 1840s and then um, really kind of become big uh, around the turn of the 20th century with you know increased mass production. Um, so they, they feature, they're very brightly colored um, and feature characters. You would send them to someone through the mail um, and they would have short poems that would be um, insults essentially. And part of the, part of the, um, the, the, what made it an extra insult was the fact that when these first were um, printed, they were just printed on, um, you know, thin paper. They cost a penny. You would fold them in half and seal them with wax and send them to someone. But at that point in postal history, um, the recipient was the person that would pay for the mail being sent. So essentially, someone would receive this card, and they would have to pay for the insult that they would receive. Uh -huh. 